a few days back i was on this facebook group that is all about new youtubers and youtube in general and notice that 90 percent of the posts have one single concern that is getting monetized and reaching the YouTube Partner Program thresholds of 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers so they can get to making money. Which got me thinking about how so many YouTubers do not think about alternative ways to make money from their channels. I like to think of it as leaving money on the table. Now you have some subscribers, you are already getting some views and you definitely have at least one social media channel that is active. So why not utilize it to make money? Which is why I decided to make this video series on how to exactly monetize your YouTube channel without the YouTube Partner Program or reaching the thresholds that you're logging for. In this video, we will start with how to make money selling digital products on YouTube. The part where I talk about promoting your products is going to be so, so, so awesome. It will definitely give you those much needed light bulb moments that you have been waiting for. Using the same method, I created a few products, I've been selling it on YouTube and I make a few hundred dollars each month, specifically from YouTube. Now this video will answer all of those naggy relatives that keep telling you that you're wasting your time on YouTube and will keep you from asking, bro, give me some tips or bro, how did you get there? Share your channel link. Every time you see a post on someone getting monetized in a Facebook group. You would have seen many other videos on how you can make money on YouTube channel with digital products. You may even have tried it, but you failed. But that is completely okay because 99% of the people, 99% of video makers will never tell you the entire story behind their success with digital products. If you watch this video entirely, in a few months time, you'll be flipping your hair, walking into your favorite photography store, Grabbing your next Sony Alpha camera with a Sigma lens, Godox lights, a Rode mic without even blinking once. Now, this video is going to be a secret between you and me. So watch it completely and implement those strategies and you will be making money. Hi guys, I'm Chavi, a five-figure blogger and a work-from-home expert on Mrs. Darko Studio. I create videos each week on making money online and living a location-independent life. So what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button below and let's start making you some money. Now there are certain steps on how to make money with digital products on YouTube. Your first and the most important step is to niche down and know your audience. Now if you create videos all over the place and in different categories, it is the time to select one niche and stick to it. You can occasionally make videos about other things that you're interested in, but most of your videos are going to follow a pattern a category and a niche. Now let's take a few examples to understand how this works out. If you are into a fitness niche, your videos are going to be about healthy living, healthy eating, workouts. If you're going to be into cooking, your videos are going to be all about cooking or maybe about how you source your ingredients or how you're going to serve your dish or how you can plate it. Now if you're about teaching people a creative skill, it could be anything. It could be painting, singing, sewing, crafts, crochet, knitting, etc. Your videos should be centered around teaching people how to do that. Now, if you talk about zero-waste life or minimalism, 95% of the videos are going to be focused on teaching people how to adopt this lifestyle. Now, the first step is to get your niche right. When you are selecting a niche, you need to also make sure that you can have digital products in it. That is to say, your niche should be profitable. People should already have created digital products in them and selling it and making money and you also need to have some level of interest in it that is extremely extremely important now this could be an entire video in itself so let me know in the comment section below if you need help with niches and i can create another video for it now if you are all over the place right now your first action item is to pick a profitable niche in which you can have and sell products effectively now in case you cannot have digital products in your niche so for example, if you have a review channel, you review shoes, you review equipments, etc. Watch my first video on how to make money with YouTube without monetization. You can find a lot more ideas in that. The link is right here. So go ahead and watch that. In the second part of the first step, your job is to analyze the problems of your audience. Collect those questions, collect those complaints and give them a solution with your product. Now, oh, where do I find 
mind and what is she talking about? This does not need to come from your own head. I have three quick ways to find these problems in your niche. The first one is to check comments on your YouTube videos. Now, if you don't have any comments, pick a competitor channel in your niche, go through their comments and see what people are complaining about, what people are asking help with. Now, you can definitely find something in there. The second one is similar to that. You're going to check Facebook groups in your niche and see what people are asking questions and posting questions about regularly. The third one is to get on Reddit or Quora and see what people need help with all the time. You can create a Google Sheet and keep putting all of these complaints together. This way, you will have all the information in one place so you can analyze, you can draw patterns, and you can get product ideas. Just like I did with this video. I saw what most members of the group have a problem with and I'm trying to solve it with this video. This series could very well be an ebook or a course, but I want to give out this information for free because I want small YouTubers to make money. So let's pick up a few examples and see what kind of products you can actually make. If you're into a fitness niche, you can create meal plans, workout plans, workout courses that have routines, etc. A cooking channel could have a recipe book, baking tips, or a book that talks to beginners about how they can ace any baking recipe. If you teach people about sewing, crafting, crochet, etc., you can have printables, workbooks, video courses to teach them exactly that. Now, if you have content about travel, you can also make products such as how to live a location independent life, how to monetize your travel, or how to finance your travel. I know a lot of you are going to struggle with this step, and there is one reason why. It is mostly because you think you don't have enough knowledge or nobody is going to buy, which is completely okay to feel. You actually don't need confidence right now. What you need is courage to try something new, to stick by it and to try it out completely so you can make money from your channel. And I know that you have the courage because you already have a YouTube channel. A lot of people struggle starting that. All that said, you need to take care of this one and the most important aspect you cannot go wrong with. That is, you need to target the right audience with the right product that solves their problem. Now, let me explain that with an example. So, let's say you have a knitting channel and your channel is all about knitting cute looking sweaters. Now, you can create a video course to teach beginners how to get started with knitting. Somebody who does not have an experience how to start off. But if your channel teaches advanced knitting patterns, your audience already knows the basics of knitting. So if you create a course that is talking about the basics of knitting, they're not going to buy it. Let's take another example. You have a yoga for beginners channel, but you create a course that talks about headstands and handstands. Now nobody is going to buy that. Why? Because your audience are beginners and you need course strength to be able to do those yoga poses. Now, if you do how to get to a handstand or how to get to a headstand within a few months time and create a course which focuses on getting your audience from no core strength to core strength to be able to do these asanas, you have hit the bull's eye. You need help with ideas for your channel. Drop the channel link in the comments below and let me know. I will definitely take a look at it and help you out with product ideas. Now, step two. Now, you have a list of problems your audience is facing and you have drawn product ideas from them. It is time to choose the type of content that you can create for your audience. So your options are basically courses. These can be completely text-based, completely video-based or have a combination of both. Ebooks, which are going to be as simple as a PDF file. Digital products like printables, like budgeting sheets, inspiring quotes, checklists or a workbook, etc webinar or a training where you can teach people how to do something but how do you choose which one is the best option for you so if you are into something that cannot be understood in text like crafting sewing photography playing an instrument workout yoga teaching english etc you will have to create a video course just think about it about how you would like to consume that course consume that product so are you comfortable with text? Are you comfortable with video? Or are you comfortable with both? Ebook is for everything else that can be easily explained in text. So how to monetize your travel, how to earn on the road, how to do photography basics, how to guide for pets like cats and dogs, etc. Now printables or digital downloads are for smaller products like printables, workbooks, 
coloring books, wall arts, etc. Now you need to check out Sarah Titus shop for more ideas because she makes millions of dollars with her digital products. Once you have decided a product idea and what type of content you are going to create, it is time to know the tech behind it. First and foremost, you need a PayPal account. So create one and authorize it to accept international payments. It is a very simple process and as you go, you will know what needs to be done. Second, depending on what type of content you're going to be creating, there are some options. So for eBooks, printables and guides or any other form of digital products or digital downloads, you can start using Pages, Word or even Google Doc to write your product. You can then download them into a PDF. Now, if you're creating a printable which needs some designing, you can use Canva, which is a free tool. But you need to remember that you cannot use any image because you do not have the license to it. Using them would be a copyright infringement. So keep it simple. You can use Gump Road to begin with, while there are many other options like Send Out, Teachable, etc. These are paid options. Now, meaning you will have to spend a fee each and every month before you can get started with selling your own product. So if you are a beginner and this is your first product, use Gumroad. They charge per product sold, so you don't have to spend on a monthly fee. You will be paying 5% to Gumroad and around 4.4% to PayPal, depending on which country you live in. Now, I know it is a lot, but once you start selling enough to cover your basis, you can shift to a paid account for Gumroad or Teachable. And if you have the budget to spend at this moment, I would say start with Teachable. It is the most hands-free platform to sell digital products of any kind. For videos, you have a few other options as well. You can use Teachable, which I highly recommend, Podia, Thinkific. All of them are paid and charge at least $40 a month and is worth every penny, especially with Teachable. So if you can afford that, you can go ahead with that. And I'm talking about Teachable here. If you cannot afford it, you can check out a platform called Course Craft which is free for up to 100 students, but it takes a percentage of every course you are going to be selling. I think it is a good deal in my opinion for people on a budget and for people who are going to be trying digital product for the very first time. Once you've decided the platform, you can then go ahead with creating your product. As you go, I also want you to find beta testers for yourself. You can find them on any relevant Facebook group very, very easily. Now get at least 10 of them to go through your product as you create them and ask them to give you feedback so you can work on your product. You want to be able to help people so getting better testers not only gives you a reality check on how useful your content is, but it also gives you real people to understand their problems and use their success story as your own success story. Remember, social proofs can increase the sale of your products by leaps and bounds. And that gets us to a sales page. Now you need a sales page to be able to convince people to buy your product. Now how and where do you create these landing pages? Your first option is to have a website with a free element of plugin to create a sales page. However, you will have to spend on domain name and hosting. Now MailerLite is another great option. It is an email marketing service that allows you to create landing pages. Now you can integrate it with your product selling platform like Send Owl or Gumroad to collect emails. And now boom, you have an email list you can directly sell to. Now MailerLite is free for up to 1,000 subscribers, so yay! So you can go ahead with that if you are on a budget. Even if you're not on a budget, I would prefer, I would recommend you to start with MailerLite. Now I personally use Elementor because I already have a blog. Now comes the major part of selling digital products on YouTube, promotions. You don't want to miss this out. First, talk about it in each and every video without coming across as someone who is desperate to sell their own products. Now it is as simple as mentioning in your videos, if you dream of getting the flexibility and don't have the time to join a yoga class, we do offer a video course that you can check out in the links below. If you want to cut through all the noise and get to the point where you understand photography or understand your camera perfectly well and without having to see another video ever, I have a small guide and I have linked it below so you can go check it out. Another one would be if you want to start sewing perfectly in the next 30 days, you can check out my course on sewing 101 for beginners in the description box below. Now basically, 
you have to mention your products to your audience in each and every video. They need to know and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of letting your audience know that you have a product and don't be afraid of selling. If they don't know and if you don't sell, how is anybody going to buy it? Also, link to your product in the first few lines of the description box below in each and every video of yours, even if you don't mention your product in that video. You don't want them finding it because nobody does that. It needs to be clear, it needs to be right there in front of their eyes. So I would prefer that you link to your products in the very first line of the description box. That has definitely helped me get a lot more click-through rates and sales on YouTube. Next, you can create videos about your courses, about your products. Now share your journey, share your story, share your buyer's story or better tester success story in these videos. You can link these videos in other videos when you mention your products. You can say something like blah, blah, blah. This is my product. This is what it can do for you. This is what I talk about. And tell them that the link is here and you can find more about the product, more about other people's journey with this product, more about my journey with the product, etc. The next one is whenever somebody comments asking for your help, be valuable to them. Give them a few tips that can really, really help them out and ask them to check out your products and tell them how your products can help them accelerate the process. Now, a gem of a promotion tip for you. Create a Pinterest account. Create a Pinterest account. Start creating pins for your videos. Start creating pins for your products. You can triple your growth in the next four to five months. If you stay consistent and you learn the platform, you will be getting so many subs, so many views and sales if you are going to be starting to do this. I will be doing a video on how to use Pinterest for YouTube very soon, so stay tuned. Last but not the least, talk about your products and channel on one to two social media channels that you are very active on. It could be Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever it is, whatever you use. Now remember, you have to spend more time promoting than creating. Spend more time promoting than creating. That is the secret people don't stress enough. If you have the budget, learn Facebook ads, Google ads, and promote your sales page using them. Now, phew, that was a lot of information. I'm tired, I'm thirsty, and I hope that you took notes from this video because we have talked about a few ways we have talked about tips and tricks to make money on YouTube video or digital product that actually works if you implement them. So I really, really hope that you did take notes or at least save this video so you can watch it later anytime you're going to start this process of creating digital products. Now let's go over it once again so you know what your action items are. Choose a profitable niche, collect and make notes of your audience problems. You can use Facebook groups, Quora, Reddit, etc. Draw patterns with that information and come up with product ideas. Decide what type of content and tech you're going to be using. Find better testers on Facebook groups and get feedback from them. Create content, promote, 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 and create a Pinterest account. So this is it for today, guys, on how to make money on YouTube with digital products. Do watch my videos on other ways on how you can monetize your channel without the YouTube Partner Program. The link is here. The link is on the screen right now. You can check out the playlist that is on the screen and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and i will see you tomorrow till then tada bye